for the last week is putting it a little mildly. And then you start with a pick on the first play of the game. Who knows what happens next? Chase Bryce going to go for the quick change play. The pass across the middle is caught on a sliding grab by Miller Gibbs. That'll move the chance for the black and gold on their first offensive. A quarterback receiver duo there. Good protection by Appalachian up front. Cam Peoples getting the start in the running back position. No word yet on whether Nate Noel will play told to us game time decision. We did not see Chase Bryce to get it started as well. Bryce with 510 yards passing through two games. Deshaun Davis going with the wide open touchdown catch in the end zone and the Mountaineers on the board here at the Rock. Christian Wells for six. Outstanding play call by Barbe. The offensive coordinator has done a great job over the last two ball games calling plays. Another example of being aggressive. Twins to the field to the boundary side. You run Davis back across. Christian Wells is just sitting there. Take a look here. You run Davis, he throws Christian Wells just a busted coverage again because they thought they were going to run the end around. Great play call by the offensive card. And back, boy, Appalachian State could not have scripted a better start to this one at Kid Brewer Stadium. The interception on the... He didn't do that when he was with the Cubs that time, only with the Braves. App State trying to get the offense crank back up. That's Cam Peoples out across the 30-yard line. Nice pickup of about 12 yards for Peoples as App State gets back to the offensive attack. A Appalachian lined up in big boy football. You see double tight ends, uh, one receiver, and they said, look, we're going to see if we can be physical up front. Tenere's yet this afternoon. They haven't had the football a whole ton of time. Just three plays to put their first points on the board to open the contest. Looks like a dropped pass. Caden Robinson was the intent. Now those will become the household names you'll know. Here's Deshaun Davis not going to throw the football this time and taken down. And yard loss brings up third and 17 for App State. As we roll toward the five and a half minute mark here of the first quarter. Four wide, three to the bottom of your screen. Bryce with the simple toss underneath. And that'll get back to the initial came in the fourth quarter of that game. He's found a way to put Appalachian State even one and one coming into Sunbelt Conference play. Daytrick Harrington taking first effort. Harrington four times in his career has gone over 100 yards. He's been banged up a little bit, had some injury problems. He had 12 carries against Texas A&M last week, most since the mid-2000s. You see the pass out in the slot. That's Deshaun Davis for the first down gain for App State out across the 30-yard line, nearly to the 35. Five pounds did an outstanding job getting out there making the block on the most dangerous man. Now the Mountaineers using tempo to their advantage. As Harrington again moves the chains for the Mountaineers back to 2004. He said he likes tempo because you can change it in the middle of drives like we've seen in this one. A little bit more deliberate pass to Davis out on the sideline in Detroit territory, but they, can, they could go quick strike. They could wait a second and draw things out. Second and a long five. Play action look, Bryce with some room to run now. Gets back just beyond the line of scrimmage. Good pursuit there and staying home. Coaches that are working on the develop, his development, he decided to run that. So good decision on his part. Mountaineers 0 for 1 on third down so far this afternoon. Pass to Davis on the Mountaineers sideline at the 40 incomplete. Nine minutes and 22 seconds of possession time through about a quarter and a half of football. See if a sustained drive is in the offing now. Damani Marshall dragging defenders to the 35-yard line. That's near a first down gain for the sophomore from Winston-Salem, his first carry on the day. That's a nice, solid run by Amani Marshall. Again, the, what's, what's impressive about this run is the gains another four or five yards after contact. Good job by the offensive line, but good hard running by Marshall. Marshall had a touchdown in the AM win last week, his first career score in black and gold of either team, Wake Forest or Appalachian State. Marshall again dives over the 35, and that's a first down for addition of bringing in Amani Marshall to this uh, running back room. Play action to Marshall. Bryce pressure has to get rid of it and is taken down. Will Cholo chased him down. Give some credit, though, to Antonio Showers for hemming Bryce in. Cholo finished off the job.
I tell you, Cholo is six foot, 276 pounds, and he doesn't look at it. Look how well he runs to the football, and look how well he, I mean, he does, that's a great open field tackle. Again, you know, Chase is an athlete. That's a big defensive line. And maybe running backs are the thing in the family. I think he needs to stick to D-line. He made an awfully nice play there. Peoples back in the ball game. He carries off left side about four yards, close to the 40-yard line as Cam Peoples gets his third down. This is third and nine. Rice with the handoff. There goes Peoples. That's a first down game. Third down and nine. That felt like maybe that uh, four down territory, Avery Hall, and you put Peoples in the run play like that, and that signals first down for the black and gold. And, and I will tell you, the running back room, when you have competition, it'll motivate everybody. What is it? A rising shield, you know, it takes care of everybody. I mean, think about it. Again, good play up front by Cameron Peoples. Split backs. For Bryce in the shotgun, that's Anderson Castle Low, his first time on the field. The pass over on the side. Stadium had a catch that day. There were about a million yards between those two teams in a 63-61 shootout. Bryce, a little option toss, throwback on Hall of Fame Day. Peoples gets the first down gain, a little extra pushing and shoving. Del Pettis will get him out of bounds, but not before the Mountaineers move the chains again. Good good vertical passing game. Again, you, you know, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, horizontal passing game again. You try and you, you've been throwing the football down the field to Davis to Strowman. Now, now you want to kind of get those safeties and those those outside linebackers who are in coverage kind of think a little more. So good, good uh, horizontal passing game play. Uniform combos that looked a little bit like DJ Campbell on the option toss there from back in your day. Maybe a little faster though. A little, little faster though. Bryce across the middle throws a strike. That's another first down catch as Caden Robinson comes down with one in traffic. Face, and he still got that ball off. Bryce again over to the sideline, finds Robinson who pivots on the defender and carries down to the 21-yard line. See if the Sun Belt can score any more wins against Power 5 teams. They got a few chances today. We'll see how that all plays out by the time the day is done. Conference play really gets going in earnest next week. Chase Bryce on second and two. Fake to Peoples in the pass off the fingertips of Henry Pearson. Probably the back. With Peoples on the handoff has the first down across the 20 as he churns further inside the Troy red zone. Mountaineers definitely benefit from punching this ball in the end zone. And off Peoples, off one group of tacklers, tries to stiff arm another in the shoestring tackle by Craig Slocum. All that separates Cam Peoples from another rushing touchdown. Instead, the Mountaineers pick up nine on first down. Craig Slocum's the free safety. He did a good job, as you can see, coming up here. Cam does a great job of vision, bouncing outside. Slocum comes up, and, and really, you'd like to see. Peoples, the pistol back, second and one. Left side run, Peoples this time. Flag comes in on the play. There's the Mountaineer running back. Heads to the Troy five. Looks like holding maybe the call here. Where that, where that flag was dropped. 60 yards total for the Mountaineers. Handoff goes to Peoples again as he lowers his head into the pile and gets play back across the 20 yards. Uh, again, these are, these are very good football players on this Troy University team. Huge third and 10 here for App State. Fake to Peoples. Pass across the middle seam. Touchdown. Black and gold. Anderson Castle. So, if you had him on your bingo card here in Sunbelt play, you're a winner. We're two. And now a PAT away from a tie score. With just under 90 seconds until halftime. Kick into the. You got to have the football. And again, that goes back to Appalachian's defense not playing very well. Lots of missed tackles, uh, not enough pressure on the quarterback, too many gaping holes in the zone coverage. All right, Chase Bryce in the shotgun. Camp Peoples, his pistol back. And the second half of this Sunbelt Conference opener begins. And Camp Peoples taking about a truckload of Troy Trojans with him. Eight yards on a first down run, right? Kind of defined as 20 yards or more. Uh, Troy's had two of them. Appalachian has not had any. Second and a long two, and the boundary catch made by Christian Horn. That's a first down game for App State. One of the things that Kevin Barbe said early in the week, whether that's a win at Texas A&M, loss in that shootout to North Carolina, every play has to live for its own thing, and then you move on to it, on to the next play, and so from the first half, you got to go out and try to 
execute the offensive game plan. Play action. Bryce looking to heave one down the seam. He's got a man. That was Davis. He's blanketed over the top. No flag and a savvy defensive contact. And the ball was a little overthrown as well. Second down and 10. Peoples like a freight train toward midfield. Got forward progress to the 48-yard line. It took nearly the whole Troy defense to bring down. The and again, that, that was just hard, solid running on his part. Fake to Peoples and the fingertip grab. Are you kidding me? First down gain for Horn. And he got that one by the very tips of his fingernails. Outstanding throw post route here. Wow, what concentration. Uh, being pulled on, great, great throw and catch by uh, Chase Bryce and, and Horn. Bryce eluding some pressure inside the 30 to the 26. Is that sand pit where they just squeeze, and people laugh at that, but that's what they do to strengthen the hands. Richard Carrington, the running back, pass playing complete. I, I would think that it's a little easier to carry around the racquetball, but it preparing to play on. You, you, you prepare to play for these 12 Saturdays in the fall. Third down and six. Harrington on the carry. Dragging defenders across the 20. That's a first down gain. And this looks more like the third down offense that App State brought to College Station. Third down and six, third down and four. They were able to churn those yards and keep the sticks moving in that upset victory last week. Harrington, the pistol back. App State over 100 yards of rushing offense for the day. Harrington kicks it out left, has some room to the five. Touchdown, Mountaineers. This, this is a running back coming off of two knee surgeries. Not only is he physical inside the tackles, he has great vision and still explosive enough to when that hole does not open up inside the tackle, he bounces it out outside and is able to beat those safeties to the end zone. Outstanding. Four off this early second half clock. Mountaineers to Trojans tied again here in the Sunbelt Conference opener. From tying it up here on the opening drive, Quarter number three. As the fans settle in for second half play at the Rock. Now is this one on fourth down. Had the false start, had to punt. Trickeration as the Mountaineers try to put some distance up that far sideline up to the 18 yard line on the reverse goes Christian Wells. You could hear him stomping around. He thought he had two more under his belt. The middle run play, the line to gain was the 20 on third down and short. It doesn't look like the Mountaineers are going to get the forward career. All back in 2000. Chase Bryce, who I believe was born in 2000, but he certainly wasn't throwing. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's hard to believe it was 22 years ago when we were to boot together, but again, that, that just makes us old, man. <laughs> Bryce play action. Looking to advance with the tight end game, and they'll do so. Henry Pearson, who had the third quarter here. Harrington, the running back, he's had a nice day going right side, and will gain to about the 35-yard line. Pickup of six, six Sun Belt titles for Troy. People forget that uh, Troy's been a giant slayer. They beat LSU in 2017. Beat. I want to say Nebraska in 2018, Appalachians won their share of games. So these are two. One of conference play. Bryce, first down gainer. Across the middle of the shot. Targeted eight times. He's got a touchdown toss. Remember that back on the fourth play of the game. On first down, Bryce, play action. Home run ball down the far sideline. Caden Robinson hauls it in inside the 15. First down, black and gold. That's kind of like that go slash corner route. Again, if you take a look here, Chase has nice protection. He, that's considered a, a five-step drop back in the old days, but good throw by, by Caden. Peoples trying to get the corner and it four times. He, he, he's listed as 6'2", 210, but I declare he plays bigger than that. Rice for Peoples on the sideline, back inside the 15-yard line. He'll get spun out on the 13. Stewart in on the tackle. Also shoved out by Will Cholo. And now we have an injury timeout. Looks like Christian Wales. Uh, let's see if that... 
for sure. Christian Wells. Uh, Marshall out. You know, that's huge. Uh, for Troy. Trey Cobb out. He, he's, he's a leader on our defense. So uh, on the Appalachian State defense. So again, that's a, that's a huge loss. 21 apiece, approaching a minute left in the third quarter. Chase Bryce has some room to run. Inside the 10, leaning into the six. It's still going to be two yards shy of a first down. It's hit a 29 yarder that was the decisive points against Texas A&M last week. Good snap, hold is down, and the kick sails through the uprights. And the deadlock has been broken here at Kid Brewer Stadium with 29 seconds to play. Camp Peoples in the backfield. Trying to get that left corner. And hemmed up right at the line of scrimmage. Great run pursuit. Some of the best rush defense we've seen today from Troy. Now, 17 of 21 fourth quarter plays run by App State last week were run plays. Did that to control the clock as Peoples tries to shovel his way through the middle of the Troy defense. Gets to the 30. That'll bring up third down and a true five. On a game as well as in the Texas A&M game. Henry Pearson, the tight end in the seam, bouncing off tackle. Still on his feet. First down in the Troy territory. The Mountaineers inside the 40. Great route down the seam. If you take a look here, Henry comes off, comes down the seam. Quick release by Chase Bryce. That's, that's just effort right there. And that's a poor tackle, too, by Troy University. But good effort, too. And, and does a great job of hanging. Saloka missed him. Juvenor went in there and got him. Pearson to the 40-yard line of Troy territory. And off to Peoples. Defensive lineman that has an outstanding game. Can't get his name initialed it right now. Bryce with play action. Rolling into pressure and has to heave it away. Boy, that was trouble waiting to happen for App State. Great pursuit by. But it's TJ Jackson who's played a good game. Inside handoff, Harrington. Right side, he runs inside the 35 yard line, shy of the first down. 2,000. Harrington in the backfield, that's Miller Gibbs, the offset tight end. It's a pass to Gibbs, sideline route has the first down on fourth down. An excellent blocking to spring him free to move the chains. Outstanding execution by Appalachian State on that play. Little screen, bubble play, bubble play or screen pass out there. Good job blocking out on the perimeter by Henry Pearson and good running by uh, Miller Gibbs there again, tight end. It's the clock inside, six and a half minutes as Bryce goes to work. His team down four, but with new life, first down and 10 inside the 30. Sideline catch made, and that's Horn on the sideline to about the 22. That's a good six yard pickup on first down. Back to Miller Gibbs, didn't that look like something right out of the, getting after it. <laughs> Two to each side, second down and four. Harrington got the corner, has some room, slips a tackle, rolling stop 15. That should be a first down for App State. They'll mark him at the 16, but that's a yard good of the first down game. You know, Harrington may not be the leading rusher today, but he's been awfully productive when he has run. First and 10 for the Mountaineers. They can move the football to about 12 to move the chains again. Handoff Peoples leans into a defender. That's Harris on the tackle as people get too many more opportunities and you're down by four. So he's got to try and put the football in the uh, end zone. Bryce looking for the corner and that ball overthrown. No flag coming in on the play. Caden Robinson, the intended back. Defense is tightened up a little bit, a little, little closer zone coverage. You know, it looks like they're, they're zone, they're man to man on the boundary side, zone on the field. Uh, See what they run here. Peoples left side inside the 10. Shy of the first down. So you're looking at another fourth down. Here on, on fourth down and three. Marshall right side, watch Pearson. He's the motioning tight end. Fourth down and three. Bryce, the pass to Marshall, caught it. First down gain to the five yard line. He just got that one across the line to gain to the six. So the Mountaineers with first and goal. Clock the running back 323 and rolling. Marshall up the middle. Inside the four forward progress stopped pretty quickly. The Troy defense collapsing. Craig run there. Two fourth down conversions on this drive. 
Bryce fake to Marshall. Bryce on the roll, and he's taken down for a significant loss. Back to the eight yard line. That's a drop of all from the eight. Robinson up at the top of your screen. Bryce with time going that direction. Catch made and out of bounds goes Robinson. They'll give him the three yard line. So another fourth down to overcome for App State. Wow. Down at the three. And then you're talking about timing being a factor as the clock continues to roll. They said he was tackled in bounds. If Troy gets a stop here, they're also deep in. State cannot score here. Marshall the setback. Bryce across the back end, no good. Troy defends it. That pass would have been caught out of bounds anyway. And Troy knows that. Underneath pass, and that's picked off, or is it? No, it dropped on the ground. Troy thought they had it. They nearly had it. That was Caleb Ransall. Davis was the intended target. Stops the clock with 11 seconds left. So you burn four seconds there. So no we're going to use reverse psychology because, again, logistically, you got to go to the sideline, right? So they're, Troy's thinking they're going to go to the far right sideline. So do they go over top here? Here we go with Bryce again. Across the middle he goes, and that pass incomplete. At the 40-yard line, that would have been good. They're only going to rush three down linemen. And so that's going to put 11 back in coverage. And you've got, you're going to have four receivers out in coverage. Here's Bryce again, firing toward the sideline. That ball dropped is it. dropped. Dropped by Dalton Stroman. Last play of the ball game right here. You got a receiver not, not sure where he needs to be lined up. Robinson in motion slot. Here's Bryce rolling out. Time to heave it deep. Throws it shy of the goal line, and that ball is tipped around. And caught. Wow! And caught. Oh, that's a touchdown! Wow! Mountaineers win it! Mountaineers wow. win it! Deflection, are you kidding me? Wow! Wow!